Yes, it's the biggest uh, shame for the army yet. Two former chiefs of staff have been indicted in the Adish Housing Society scam. An army court of inquiries held that General Deepak Kapoor and General N.C. Vidge are blameworthy for the scam. In addition to them, it's found four lieutenant generals and three major generals indicted in the probe. General Deepak Kapoor, former chief of the army staff, blameworthy. General N.C. Vidge, former chief of the army staff, blameworthy. Men who commanded a million strong army indicted for conduct unbecoming of an officer. A military court of inquiry has submitted its report to the Ministry of Defence. It shames a number of generals. General Kapoor misrepresented his salary to be 23,000 rupees per month. Under Adish Cooperative Housing Society norms, applicants with monthly household income ranging between 15,000 rupees and 30,000 rupees were qualified to apply. After the Sixth Pay Commission revision, General Kapoor was drawing a monthly income of 90,000 rupees. General Kapoor had also written to then Chief Minister of Maharashtra, Vilasrao Deshmukh, asking for an exception to be made to domicile rules in the context of the other society. Former Army Chief N.C. Vich had in 2007 declared his monthly income to be 39,825 rupees. The Army probe also indicts four Lieutenant Generals and four Major Generals. Retired Lieutenant General Gurbaksh Singh Zihota, then Army Commander Southern Command, he was also allotted flats in the other society. Retired Lieutenant General Tejinder Singh, then GOC, when the scam took place. And once he became a member, he allegedly nurtured the society and prevented anybody from raising an alarm. Retired Lieutenant General P.K. Rampal, then a brigadier in the sub-area, he was the custodian of the military land. Despite knowing that the GOC was not the competent authority to issue the NOC, did not object and hence abused his official position for his personal benefit as he too was a member of Adarsh. The senior most serving officer named at the Court of Inquiry report is Major General Ram Kavar Huda, who until a few months ago was the General Officer Commanding Maharashtra, Gujarat and Goa based in Mumbai. The Court of Inquiry was ordered by Army Southern Command based in Pune to investigate the role of various other officers in the scam. Other Major Generals in the dock are Retired Major General A.R. Kumar, a member in the other society who abused his official position to fraudulently issue a no-objection certificate to the Collector Mumbai for development of the plot. Major General Tej Kishan Kaul, another member of the society who misrepresented facts to Parliament. He intimated the Lok Sabha that the land had never been under the occupation of the army. He also deliberately did not take action on the DEO request letter for revocation of the perpetrated NOC despite being aware of the facts. The Army Court of Inquiry probe report says that prima facie culpability of these officers has been established. It's now for the CBI to probe the matter. Surprisingly, the Army and the Defence Minister have chosen not to comment on the matter. I have not seen the report. Let me see the report first. The Court of Inquiry has indicted two, uh, you know, former yeah. Army Chiefs in that other uh, 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 I have not, uh, I have not uh, read that. It's for the first time that an inquiry has put in the dock so many generals of the army over corruption. So the army is refusing to comment, saying the matter is with the CBI, even as the minister conveniently avoided answering any questions, feigning ignorance about the report. With camera person Ashwini Helen, this is Mahasiddiqui in Delhi for Headlines.